Hello walkers, Mike here from Living Walks. We're in Madeira and we're walking down to the Nuns Valley. Stay with us to the end. We're gonna show you how you can do this walk yourself. We can show you what there is down there to see in the Nuns Valley. And of course, we'll show you how to get home afterwards. Stay with us to the end. I think you're really gonna like this one. But before we start, you know the score. Come here, group hug. Oh, a bit closer. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's a good way to start. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's enough. All right, come on, back. No, a little bit further. And you. Okay. So here we're right at the top of the valley. So the bus uh, stops here. This is Aira do Cerrado. Okay, this is the lookout. And you don't really want to come to Nuns Valley without coming to the lookout. That's a nice pair of trousers, young man. Excuse me. Let's just have a little look over this and we'll look down into the Nuns Valley itself. So that down there, that little spattering of houses, uh, it'll look a bit bigger when we get close to it. It's a thing called perspective. And um, yes, far away things look small. Anyway, we're going to be walking down there and... Um, if you're wise, you're going to follow us too. We'll talk about the history around here. We'll have a bit of a laugh. And uh, we'll see what we see, shall we? Just look at that, by the way. I mean, that is pretty stunning, isn't it, really? So here, this is where the bus stops, first of all, at the top. Okay, and there's a, there's a hotel, there's a cafe, there's a little souvenir shop. But this is the little route here. We're following these two ladies down. Probably not all the way. That's a bit creepy, isn't it, really? And that'll put them off. But over on the left, you can just see the back of the hotel. So you can see the view that you'll have if you decide to spend a day or two there. Pretty nice view. And so the route down, it's fairly decent, again. You know, you don't want to come down here in ballet shoes, in high heels, that sort of thing. You know, a good pair of trainers. Obviously, too, it's just it rained the night before. It's going to be wet. It's going to be slippery. Oh, I'd give it a day or two. But we've done this walk in 45 minutes, well, to an hour, really, I'd say, in the past. But today, it's going to be longer. We're going to stop and film. We're just going to take our time. And you know what? With views like that, you really do want to take your time. And it's just so quiet here. The only sound is just Yvonne munching on some peanuts behind me. So first of all, how do you get yourself down here? Well, easiest way, there's a couple of buses, but the, um, the one we use is the 81. And it goes several times a day, and you can pick that up. You can pick that up by the Tallerifico. Or if you're more in the Lido area, there's a bus stop just opposite the Savoy. And just pop over there. You'll see the timetables and you can uh, pick up the bus there. If for some reason you can't work it out, generally I'm probably over in the Savoy in the penthouse at the top. You can always pop over and say, hi, can I just speak to Mike? And if I'm not eating oysters and, you know, I'm not just quaffing champagne, I can probably come down and just point you out the right bus stop to take. But look how green this is. So the 81 bus, uh, when you get it, just check that it says uh, Aira do Cerrado on the front as well. It will say Nuns Valley or Corral das Freiras in Portuguese. Make sure it goes to the, uh, the viewpoint as well, the Aira, because um, that way you can walk down. If you choose not to do the walk down, of course, but that's all right. You can stop at the top, have a cup of coffee. Next bus comes along, that will just take you down into Nuns Valley. Taxi-wise, uh, if you're a little flash with cash, as we say, uh, that's fine. You can get a taxi for about 15 euros. I just asked one of the chaps here. Uh, that's what we're called, by the way. The taxi driver's called Chaps. And it'll be 15 euros uh, down from the viewpoint into the valley itself. Or if you want to go back to Funchal, if it's all been a little bit exciting, um, then that's going to be about 30 euros back to Funchal. But again, the bus journey, it's probably about three euros, maybe a little bit more than three euros each, and that's each way. So it's something you can do really easily on your own.
because it's so gorgeous this is such a wonderful view it just reminds me too to point out that you know i really appreciate the time and effort you've taken to to make yourself up for this little walk with us i know probably a lot of your friends and and relatives have said you know you really shouldn't wear that that just doesn't suit you at all and maybe some people would say what you're wearing is you know it's the brave thing to do but you know, I, I really like it. I admire it. And I think, you know, at your age, let's face it, you can just, you know, do what you like. You've got plenty of time to, you know, play around with fashion, haven't you, really? With identity. And in spite of the fact that it shouldn't work, that against all the odds, really, I think what you're wearing really suits you. So, thank you very much. Oh, incidentally, by the way, it's just a special today. So if you are one of our bronze members today, I just want to let you know that we'll be sending out uh, another set of the Barney Rubble uh, Blancmange uh, oven mitts, uh, free of charge again. So, yep, there's uh, another batch coming out to you there. Some people would say it's just because we've got a warehouse full of them. Not true. Not true. They are worth their weight in gold. Now, the smells here are lovely. Really lovely. And there's a little bit of wind. You might be able to hear it over the microphone. We'll do our best to shield you from the the naughty bad wind. So there's a nice little picnic spot up here. It's a nice little place to stop. A little bit of B-roll for you. There, see. So we're probably at I think it's probably about 40 minutes wandering down here. So for us, maybe we're halfway. Again, we've just been um, slumming it a little, taking our time, you know. Really, we've not been trying too hard. We've been filming. Hello, uh, where's the lager? Uh, hast du meine Lamas gesehen? Uh, ich habe sie verloren. Nein? Uh, sie sind so groß? Nein? Okay, uh, kein Problem. Ja, danke. Anyway, down below. Man's Valley. It's getting a little larger now. That's because we're getting closer. Again, that's that perspective thing we were talking about. If you do this walk down to Nuns Valley and you think, oh, it would be nice to do some Lovada walks, there are some Lovada walks around the area. They tend to be quite challenging ones. Uh, I think you've got the PR12, which is a challenging one, the Camino Real da Encumiada. There's another one, Corradas Freiras, and uh, the Camino das Voltas. Again, you're going to have to look them up in a book or a, an app. They are quite challenging, but there are a couple around here. What's the history then of Nuns Valley? Why is it called Nuns Valley? So basically in the 1500s, 1556, uh, the, the nuns from Santa Clara convent in Funchal fled inland. Basically the naughty French privateers, or pirates, which is what they really were, uh, were ransacking Funchal. And so the nuns... Um, hiked up here, knowing that it's quite difficult to find, and it takes a lot of effort. And they found seclusion and safety here. The town, as well as being known for the, uh, you know, hiding the nuns and protecting the nuns, now it's uh, it's known for its chestnuts. There's an annual chestnut festival, but in fact, all year round, you can buy anything made of chestnuts, chestnut food. Chestnut music, chestnut dancing, chestnut wine. Well, no, but everything, really. You've got cakes, you've got soups, you've got bread. And if you're lucky, maybe even just chestnuts. Chestnut liqueurs. And also, if you look in the shops down there, you'll see a lot of things made of cork. So that's something we've uh, noticed quite a lot on the mainland when we've been there. Uh, we've walked through a lot of uh, cork forests. And it's amazing all the things you can do with cork. 
including preserving wine. You can make hats, you can make bags out of them. Quite impressive. So if you're a corky sort of person, you might want to come down here and have a look. Uh, if you want to know more about Nuns Valley, we've uh, done a little walk through it before, so you can have a look at that one. As you look out at that stunning scenery, can you imagine yourself like a thousand years ago or something, being out here tilling the land, you know, bashing the rocks together, making a living? Well, if you can, you'd have been on your own, basically, because this island was only settled in the 1400s, and before that there wasn't anyone here, well, as far as I know, anyway. So it's not like the Canary Islands, where you had the indigenous population. So, uh, commonly known as the Guanches, uh, which is really just the, the the name of the people that lived in Tenerife, but it's been applied to all the other people in the Canaries. Um, they were there at least 500 years BC. And uh, look at their genetics. If you just um, do a little bit of um, you know, Ancestry.com, you'll find that uh, they seem to derive from sort of like North African people, Berber people. But here, yes, you'd have been on your own. So, uh, depending on how your survival skills were, you, you probably died out. In fact, if there was just one of you, you wouldn't have had children. Unless you're an amoeba, in which case, uh, you're, you're laughing. Coming here to the main road, so we're getting a little closer. Lovely sound, by the way. I just want to... I just want to say thank you to our team. So everyone on YouTube has a team, and uh, we have a, a, an extra special team. Now, they might be imaginary, but they are super good. I just want to say thank you to Octavia. So she's our imaginary sound recorder. Absolutely fantastic. It's really hard to get hold of her, but now that we have, she's probably the best imaginary sound recorder you could possibly imagine. Really good. So don't try and poach her because um, we're keeping up, absolutely. Getting home again, there's a couple of ways you can pick the bus up here but the easiest way is just going to be just up here on the right hand side and uh, I think we're include the actual uh, bus stop at some point we'll show you the timetable A little restaurant here, Saborej do Corral, or Valley Flavors is what it means. There's a little queue here, but it's nice on the roof. You get a lovely view of the valley. In fact, most of the little restaurants here, you'll get a really good view. A little shout out too to Captain Osmo and the Thunderbolts. So they came as a set. There are location scouts, by the way. And again, phenomenal phenomenal they've been worth their weight in gold it's thanks to them really that we found uh, Madeira in the first place and again you know if you wanted an imaginary set of uh, location scouts they are just the best absolutely and so in fact if you want to tip some of our team because they are growing week by week and they do such stunning work you can send your uh, imaginary euros and imaginary pounds uh, to YouTube just to our channel here and um, they will be gratefully received. We're probably going to pause in this little restaurant on the right, Valley Freras. Uh, they do a nice tomato and egg soup. Mm. 
Et voila, the half-eaten tomato and egg soup. And look at that view. And in fact, shall I point out with a fat ghostly hand, um, it's just where we started, that's it. We're up there, we zigzag down. Look at that, fantastic CGI work going on here. The bells, the bells. Bells of Nuns Valley. Here we're stopping again. This is it La Perla? So it's just a few yards further up. Again, look at that stunking view. And let's have another look at my big fat white hand. That's it, see? Amazing dexterity. And you can set pause on this. So this is the bus timetable back again. The drive up and drive down is fun. Okay, if you like sheer drops, uh, you're going to like this one. It's really great. Sometimes the camera doesn't give it justice. And perhaps today, because we've got Guido, he's our uh, imaginary uh, cameraman. He's in training at the minute, so, you know, bless him. You've got to allow him a few mistakes. Well, look down there, you see the sea. And so, we thank you for being with us. You're the best subscribers any, any channel could wish for. Watch out for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.